We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show and today is Wednesday, March 25th, Wednesday, March 25th. I'm in the process of actually getting ready to go to Ecuador. I've got a million things to do. I thought I was going to make it easy on myself by doing all this stuff all week long, but uh, that didn't quite happen. So I'm in the shipping department and I just ran across, you said your name was Q. Yep, my name is Q. Is that your real name? That's my real name. It's short for Q Mars. Cool. What, what are you doing over here? What, what, how'd you... uh, well, I'm starting a juice feast in a couple of days, and um, I needed some stuff that I ordered from your website. And I'm local, about 30 minutes away, so I decided to just come pick it up because I didn't want to wait for it to get shipped. I wanted to start right away, so I came over here, and uh, looks like you got a nice warehouse, and I can hand pick the stuff that I want. Cool. When do you, when do you start your juice feast? Um, tomorrow, actually. Tomorrow. That's my goal. Tomorrow. So, cool. Sure. How long are you do for it? Do you know? No, I'm just going to go with the flow and listen to my body and just do it until my body tells me to stop. Cool. And you said you were a vegan? I am a vegan. And you've been doing that for how many months? Three months. Three months. And before that, standard American diet? Standard American diet. Oh, you're in for a treat. Yeah. So I'm really cool. looking forward to it. My body is very happy that I'm choosing to do it because it's like, you know... If the beings would just get out of the way to where the bodies would like to be, it'd be much easier for all of us. So that's what I've been practicing doing, and it's been working out great. Wow, I hear you. You know, um, somebody, I got a question from a sorority girl um, from Sigma Kappa. Her name is Jade, and I'm going to pull up her question right now. And I told her I'd answer it on today's show because I like the, the thing so much. I'm not sure what school she's in. Are you, you go to school right now? No. No, no school. Okay. Hi, Matt. You probably get tons of messages all the time, but I really was hoping you'd be able to respond to this one. I watch your TV show several times a week, but being in college and part of Greek life, I can't help but feel as though if I'm on a different universe. <laughs> I was just wondering, if you could go back to college, would you be raw? My friend and I are struggling to live the best of both worlds, but it is a struggle. Any advice or input that you would be so appreciated? Thank you. Jane. Well, I was not a, I didn't even know a 100% raw food diet exist, existed back then. If I could go back, I don't know, I'm thinking I'm going to have to say ignorance is bliss on, on this one. I mean, it, it made who I am. I had a lot of fun partying and going to Taco Bell afterwards, like at <laughs> midnight and in and out Burger and all those other fun things. partying in college? I did tons of partying in college and I would go to Taco Bell almost every night actually. Yeah. And I thought it was the best thing in the world. Yeah. So I, I mean I don't want to say I was blessed to be ignorant. Um, however, in my opinion, you kind of have got, you, you see the light right now and it's kind of hard to uh, do what we did with the knowledge that you have. If I had your knowledge back then, I probably would have went my I would probably would have done it and probably would have been a loner earlier on in college. <laughs> Not that um it's a bad thing. Um very a big growing experience and who knows what could have happened. But um yes, I wouldn't change a thing and I would encourage you to do the best that you can at this point in time. And that's pretty much it for that question. Any yeah. thoughts on that? Yeah, I have thoughts on that. Um, that's a good question as to whether you'd go back and change your life. It's like, my point of view is that everything that you did in the past led you to where you are now. And right now is such a gift that I don't think that I would change anything either. I mean, it does make it a little bit harder now to fix all the stuff, but it's like, how does it get any better and what are the infinite possibilities that you can choose now moving forward? Absolutely. Thanks, Q. You're welcome. Okay, so... It's about 2 p.m. here. At 3.30 a.m., Lindsay is going to be taking me to the shuttle to get to the airport, which I get on the plane at 8.50, and then I fly to Atlanta and then to Ecuador, and then we'll be with the green goddess, Angela Stokes. <laughs> Can you imagine?
imagine. And um, I'm bringing you guys with me, so stay tuned. Within 24 hours, we're gonna ke- I'm going to keep you posted on this little traveling show. So um, this is Matt Monarch and Q Emando with the Raw Food World TV show, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.